a German-built M3 amphibious rig, was first conceptualized in 1982, but it wouldn't be unveiled until a decade later. The self-propelled bridging vehicle ferries tanks and other vehicles across large bodies of water, and it can function as a wheeled vehicle on the road before it converts into a raft when returning to the water. More than anything, the M3's bridging capabilities truly shine when working together and assembling overpasses that can sustain even the heaviest of main battle tanks, conveying them to where they are needed. The rig was first used in combat during the Iraq War in the early 2000s, where it proved its worthiness. However, it was in the 2016 NATO Anaconda exercises in Poland that it surprised everyone by establishing an impressive world record and cementing its place in warfare history. Better in every way. The M3 Amphibious Bridging and Ferrying System, or Amphibious Rig, was conceived in 1982 to move ferry tanks and other vehicles across water obstacles. Its development lasted a decade, and the new vehicle was unveiled in 1992 by Eisenwerk Kaiserslautern EWK, now known as General Dynamics European Land Systems in Germany. Two years later, the United Kingdom also ordered a first batch of 64 examples, and in 1996, the M3 successfully entered operational service and replaced EWK's M2, which had a 25-year career. The new model easily surpassed its predecessor, but mainly in cross-country and marine maneuverability, construction time, and loading capacity. Like the M2, this upgrade functions as a four-wheeled vehicle while on the ground, and propels itself in water through two large aluminum pontoons that provide buoyancy. While a single two-bay M3 can ferry a Class 70 tracked vehicle on its own, two M2s had to work together to achieve the same result and would even need additional buoyancy bags. Either as a bridge or multi-bay raft, the M3 is capable of supporting loads of up to 85 tons for tracked vehicles and 132 for wheeled ones. Also, the M3 requires three crew members, while the M2 had a more extensive complement of four. And the new version includes an enhanced automation system that accelerates mission readiness. To test it in different climate conditions, the M3 was taken to the Arctic, Central Europe, and several tropical regions. The civil defense and combat operations and exercises then proved that the vehicle was successful as both a raft and a float bridge. Potential. When several individual vehicles link together, the pontoons form a heavy load bridge capable of supporting substantial main battle tanks, including the Leopard 2, M1A2 Abrams, and Challenger 2, which can then cross over rivers and lakes, all in a matter of minutes. When it comes to loading capacity, assembly time, and maneuverability, both in cross-country and water environments, the M3 is the most modern and fastest vehicle to deploy amphibious bridges in the world. Offering high mobility, availability, and seamless land-to-water transition, even operating the craft with a crew of only two soldiers is possible. Furthermore, to create a bridge by coupling several platforms, 24 crew members can assemble a 100-meter overpass from eight vehicles in only 15 minutes. Also, the M3 doesn't require on-site preparations, as it is capable of deploying on the move and in or out of the water. The craft can be controlled from inside the cab while on the water, and the automation control reduces the crew requirement and frees soldiers for other tasks. Its marine mobility is provided by two water pump jets that allow 360-degree movement, and it is operational in currents of about 3.5 meters per second and at depths of up to 1.05 meters. In terms of speed, the pontoon can sail at 9 km per hour while carrying a full load in the water and 14 when empty. Notably, the four-wheeled steering provides a 24-meter turning diameter as a land vehicle and has a six-speed automatic gearbox. Plus, it is equipped with differential and longitudinal locks, retractable axles, and a tire pressure adjusting system. 
and its 298 kilowatt Euro 3 standard diesel engine provides a maximum road speed of 80 kilometers per hour and a 60% climbing capability. Operational superiority. The M3's manufacturer claims that, quote, our bridges are highly mobile to minimize the effects of the operational terrain. In designing flexible and multi-purpose platforms that fit into any landscape, we contribute to Defense Force logistics. In addition, we offer reliable solutions based on combat-proven experience and providing operational availability. Besides being a capable machine on its own, the M3 offers a wide range of interoperability options with diverse bridging solutions, including the SRB, or Standard Ribbon Bridge, FSB, or Floating Support Bridge, and the IRB, Improved Ribbon Bridge. Furthermore, the company also offers coupling devices that ensure a correct interface every time, positioning the M3 as the right fit for coalitions that use several types of equipment yet operate together. Also, the platform implements a simulator to contribute to the personnel's training and the proper operational levels. Not only that, but the M3's increased level of system automation ensures low operating costs. The vehicle eventually branched into an armored version with nuclear, biological, and chemical NBC protection known as the M3G. Equipped with air conditioning systems and a special tropical climate kit, as well as an armored cabin, the upgraded M3G military float bridge raft variant found its way into the armies of the People's Republic of China and Singapore. Still, the M3's primary purpose remains to keep combat operations flowing, regardless of any obstacles, and links users' needs with a real combat environment. As such, the M3 is both a customized and realistic solution. Proven Combat The M3 amphibious bridging vehicle allows military operations to flow smoothly and continuously regardless of the specific terrain in a given combat theater. The rig saw combat for the first time during Operation Telic in March of 2003, the British military operations in the Iraq War. While there, the M3 aided British forces in crossing the Shat al-Basra waterway, thus enabling their continued advance toward the Iraqi city of Basra. A squadron from the 28th Engineer Regiment of the Royal Engineers ferried elements of the 3rd Commando Brigade and therefore facilitated the forces' mobilization. Subsequently, a riverine crossing was undertaken by the M3, which saw the transportation of three AS-90 self-propelled howitzers, supporting the 16th Air Assault Brigade of the British Army at the Rumelia oil fields. The British forces withdrew from the region in 2011, but by then, the amphibious rig had proven its worth. Record In 2016, NATO conducted the Anaconda exercises in Poland. In them, a combined German and British Army Engineer Unit would attempt to assemble and operate the longest M3 floating bridge ever arranged. It would take only 35 minutes for 8 British and 22 German units to put together a 350-meter-long overpass. Consequently, the NATO forces were able to traverse the Vistula River near Chelmno, and the drill effectively strengthened military cooperation, cohesion, and interoperability within NATO and partner nations. The bridge was created by connecting 34 UK and German M3 amphibious rigs together, and supported no less than 200 US Army vehicles as they crossed, including the Stryker armored fighting vehicles. As of the early 2020s, it remains the longest bridge in the world made up of amphibious military vehicles. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoy military content, make sure to subscribe to all our Dark Documentaries channels for more stories the world over. And please leave us a comment in the section below and hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest videos. Stay tuned.